Hello, we are reporting from Kaktovik, Alaska, above the Arctic Circle, a community that's about 100 yards north of the Alaska mainland on Barter Island. And you might know Kaktovik as the home of polar bear tourism in Alaska. Well, I had to run off a few polar bears last night and a few call outs. I work for the Department of Wildlife for the North Slope Borough. So, and a few polar bears come in last night, so I had to come in late today. Uh, we are in Kaktovik to highlight the issues that Alaska Natives uh, face when they are voting. Uh, a lot of Alaska Native polling places uh, throughout the years have just never opened up. Uh, that was the case for the August uh, Alaska State Primary, where the polls here just never opened. <coughs> I had difficulty contacting the state to open the primaries this year. We didn't have any coordination, no feedback, no nothing to, on how to get it open and how to fix it to where we can have it open. Their election judge quit before the <laughs> primary stuff even made it in, so we had difficulty even trying to find somebody else if that if. If we have another problem like that, it's most likely going to be me and my staff opening it up and we'll be election judges just to hold an election. But then I heard everybody was saying, wait, we didn't even get a chance to do the voting. So I know a lot of people were disappointed. So local leaders, <laughs> even though it's, the state is responsible for the election, Local leaders are taking steps to uh, to rectify the situation so it doesn't happen again. They are training younger people to be poll workers. They are encouraging people to get absentee votes, even if they don't vote absentee. If something should happen and the polls don't happen again, <coughs> people can go out and vote and drop their votes off at the post office. Any disenfranchisement of Alaska Native voters could sway the balance of power in the U.S. House. Alaska's sole member of the body is Representative Mary Paltola, who is also the first Alaska Native who was ever elected to Congress. She is facing a very, very tough race uh, on November 5th against Republican Nick Begich. She addressed the Alaska Federation of Natives Conference in Anchorage this past weekend and told delegates there that this race could be decided by a few dozen votes. Like I said, we want to make sure that, that we're set up to where we're, we're able to hold these elections because it's 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 our god-given right uh, to to be able to vote in, in any election that that has uh, reaches that that affect what happens in our country in our lands i mean it's, it's something that uh, 
that can definitely really affect us, who, especially in the, the next presidential election. Uh.